Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco is a historical mystery novel set in a 14th century Italian monastery. The story follows brother William of Baskerville and his novice, Adso, as they investigate a series of mysterious deaths. Through the use of rich historical detail and intricate plotting, Eco delves into the conflict between reason and religion, the nature of truth, and the dangers of censorship. The novel is known for its complex narrative and deep philosophical questions, wrapped in the suspense of a murder mystery. The story begins with William of Baskerville, a brilliant and insightful Franciscan friar, and his novice, Adso of Melk, arriving at a Benedictine abbey in northern Italy. They are on a mission to attend a theological debate, but upon their arrival, they learn that a tragedy has occurred. One of the monks, Adelmo of Otranto, has died under mysterious circumstances. The abbot, Abio of Fasanova, asks William to investigate Adelmo's death. William, known for his sharp intellect and logical reasoning, agrees to help. Adelmo was a skilled illuminator who worked in the abbey's scriptorium, a place where manuscripts were copied and decorated. His body was found at the bottom of a cliff, leading many to believe he committed suicide. William and Adso begin their investigation in the scriptorium. They learn that Adelmo was involved in a heated discussion with Venantius of Salvamech, a Greek translator, and Jorge of Burgos, a blind and elderly monk, just before his death. Jorge, a strict traditionalist, disapproved of Adelmo's humorous and playful approach to his illustrations, considering them blasphemous. As William and Adso delve deeper, they discover that the abbey is rife with secrets. They learn about the existence of a mysterious book that many monks seem to be obsessed with. This book is believed to be housed in the Labyrinthine Library, a restricted area that only the librarian and his assistant can access. The next morning, Venantius is found dead in a barrel of pig's blood. It becomes clear that these deaths are not accidents but murders. William deduces that the deaths are connected to the mysterious book and the library. Determined to uncover the truth, William and Adso decide to explore the library at night. They navigate the labyrinth using clues from ancient texts and symbols. Inside, they find a vast collection of forbidden books, including those by heretics and pagans. During their exploration, they discover that the library is designed to be a deadly trap. The bookshelves form a maze, and there are hidden mechanisms designed to confuse and mislead intruders. Despite the dangers, they find clues that suggest the mysterious book is a Greek manuscript on comedy by Aristotle, a work believed to be lost. The next day, another monk, Berenger of Arundel, goes missing. His body is later found in the baths, showing signs of poisoning. William suspects that Berenger, who had a clandestine relationship with Adelmo, found the book and was killed for it. The murders continue with the deaths of Severinus, the herbalist, and Malachi, the librarian. Each death seems to follow a pattern based on the Apocalypse of John, which hints that the killer is staging the murders according to the Book of Revelation. As the investigation progresses, William and Adso piece together the connections between the victims and the mysterious book. They realize that the killer is trying to prevent the spread of Aristotle's work on comedy, fearing it would undermine the church's authority by promoting laughter and free thought. Their suspicions eventually lead them to Jorge of Burgos. Jorge, blinded by his fanaticism, believes that laughter is a sin that must be eradicated. He confesses to poisoning the pages of the book with a deadly substance, knowing that anyone who reads it will die. In a dramatic confrontation in the library, Jorge attempts to destroy the book by eating its poisoned pages. The struggle causes a fire to break out, consuming the library and much of the abbey. Jorge perishes in the flames, along with the secrets of the library. William and Adso manage to escape the inferno, but the abbey and its priceless collection of knowledge are lost. 
the surviving monks are left to rebuild and reflect on the events that transpired. Years later, Atso, now an old man, reflects on the lessons learned from his time at the abbey. He acknowledges the dangers of blind faith and the importance of seeking knowledge and truth. The novel ends with Adso pondering the fleeting nature of human life and the enduring quest for understanding. This storyline captures the essence of The Name of the Rose, highlighting its intricate plot, rich historical context, and philosophical undertones. Through the eyes of Adso and the deductive prowess of William, readers are taken on a journey that explores the conflict between faith and reason, the power of knowledge, and the consequences of fanaticism. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.